Everybody. Hello, hello, hello. This is Tanisha here coming to you guys with a quick video of how I am transforming or how I transformed this 18-month um, planner for the upcoming year. So um, I first got this planner when it came out last year, but there are several available on Amazon. I'm not sure if they're still going to be there, but they had plenty and they were selling these for about $3.50. Sometimes it would be 3 or 5 I waited to get mine to when it was right at 3 bucks, and I got two of them. One for me to keep and one for my friend. So I um, am, have transformed hers into a Bible journal. So she has the cover. And then here, um, I'm gonna put her name. I have some little printouts over here that I'm going to let her pick which name she wants to use. And then um, I'm gonna have the 2018, 2019 here. I might lay some washi down to cover that white out, or I might not. The imperfections I think make it awesome. So what I did is I just left in the current date. She's, uh, hers is going to start in October of this year. So I left in October and didn't have to do any adjusting to those dates. Left in November. Okay, so here we have December. Um, still going to 2018, so I did not have to make any adjustments here. So then we move into January. And that's when the real work started. Okay, that's when you're cooking with grease honey so um i had to white out the dates and then i just took um some some date stickers from various places so here i had some that went with some um days of the week things so i just redated everything for 2019 for january and then at first i just did white out dots on the date and white it out the 2018 and sorry this was 20 yeah 2018 and the reason I did that is because I kind of didn't know what I was going to do and I kept it for the video because I wanted to show you the actual thought process and how it worked out so um same thing with February I just came in I had to uh take out the holidays and things like that of course if she wants to add those in herself she can um minimal washi and then just white it out the oh I forgot to white out these dates uh oh well, I'm gonna do that but white it out the dates. Um, I need to make sure that I go back through and white out the dates for this month. All right. So then we came to March. And the same thing. Will started turning. Trying to figure out what I was going to do. Got to April. Decided to do a colorful rainbow spread for her. I thought that she would like it. I also noted the prayer list and a Bible study focus for the month. And that is ice cream. The cool kids are eating dinner and that's her dessert. Okay. So that's when I was like... You know, let me try to start working some things out. And I noted so the back mine. areas. That's yours right there. The back areas where they have the calendars for the next month. I took some white out, placed some stickers there randomly. Of course, however you do this, it could be deeper and cleaner. Totally up to you. Um, but I think the imperfections are part of what makes this awesome as well. So this is May spread. We were able to keep it nice and botanical, bright, ready for spring. Okay, so then we went into June. I love the henna sparkle here with the black that coincides with the black here. Kind of just pulling all the elements together. Keeping it nice, colorful, and coordinated. Here is July. And so that is when I was like, you know what? Instead of me whiting out the dates here, I can use my extra stickers to stick here. So I'm going to go back through and do that tonight. Add in some more date covers instead of it just being white out there. Because I think that looks better and adds just a little bit more decoration to the top of the page. Instead of it just being a white space. And then the same here, just adding some stickers to cover those calendars. This is my favorite spread. I'm going to redo this in my planner. It's a passport spread. So I had these this male washing ta washi tape and I had these passport stickers. So I thought this was a really cute Bless you, boo-boo. Spread. You. You're welcome, honey. So here we have some passport stickers I had left over. That's what I stuck here. And I thought that was really cute because it went with the monthly theme. So that's the goal is to go through and add stickers or washi tape that correlate to the monthly theme. So here is just books. She's a librarian, so I thought this I would do a couple of these book um, spreads for her. I did two back to back for September and October, just different color schemes. I hope that she really likes that. And then, of course, added the hint of book washi tape to cover the dates there. 
Okay, now we're coming into November of next year. Wanted to keep that nice and bright. And then last but not least, we have December for next year, 2019. So now she has a complete one year prayer journal that she can write in every day. Just write a prayer or whatever she wants to use this for. But the point is the hard work is already done for her. It's already decorated. Um, so all she has to do is go in and add the dates to the pages and she is good to go. So that's it guys. Tell me what you think. Have you used an old planner before? Have you changed it? Have you dated it? Redated it and used it for? Did you snag any of these planners when they were available on Amazon for $2 and $3? They had several more, not just this one. This was the most noted. I posted about this in a couple of Facebook groups, but they had several of the planners that I wanted that were one I even got for $1.40. So guys, they are giving those things away. You can use them for the covers, you can use them for extra rings, you can use them for the um, dividers. Princess likes her mini, but I got her a couple of cheap classics to draw in because she likes the writing space, so that would be good for her. So, so it's totally up to you to how you use your repurposed planner, but I thought I would share this with you guys. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!